Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing another web exploitation. Just making sure I'm recording. Okay, cool. Audio, cool. All right, so this is gonna be the JAWT scratch pad. Um, it just says check the admin scratch pad and then it has the link. Uh, the hints is what is a cookie and have you heard of JWT? So I already have that open over here. That's what that looks like. Let me zoom out a little bit. So yeah, it's pretty much just a notepad. So I can enter any name here, I guess, to register myself with the website. Uh, let me move this down a little bit. That's better. Um, I just can't use admin. So, I mean, let me just try it. Yeah, can't log in as admin. He is special and you're not. Well, thanks. Um, and we do actually get another hint here. Um, if you don't like your name, use a short and cool name like John. So not only do they use John, but they actually even link John the Ripper. So there's that. So let me just put in my name. Well, hmm, something that looks like my name. And let's check out that cookie. So go to application, JWT. And we have a JW, JWT token here. So we can actually go to this website and uh, take a look at it. Okay, cool. Hopefully I didn't flashbang some of you. And we're using the HS256 algorithm and the users just set here. So initially I just thought, okay, what if I, I think I did this in another challenge, set this to none. Oh, I forgot this website's kind of picky. I like this one. So the first thing I thought was, okay, what do I set it to none? And then just change this to admin, you know, would that work? I can just update this cookie here, refresh, doesn't like that. So I thought, okay, let me go back, get a new token. Okay, so that didn't work. So I thought, okay, let's just go back with the John the Ripper thing. I mean, they, they put that for a reason, so we're probably gonna need John the Ripper. So here I have Cali. Let's give that a second. Uh, what's this, DFS? Doesn't matter. So I get that terminal open. I don't like when it's full screen, just preference. Yeah, I'll just make this full screen. There we go. Also, my dad's on the phone. He talks very, very loudly. So sorry if you hear that. So let's open that. Um, I do actually have a JWT.hex there already, but let me just, oh, I should probably go to desktop. Uh, and then, uh, Let's remove that. <laughs> I can type. Okay. So let's make a new one. Uh, I guess I'll just jwt.txt. I'll do the same thing. Paste, paste. Why can't I paste? I did I not copy it? So let's paste that in here. Is that all there? Should be. Just want to be sure. Cool. Okay. So let's save that. Um, let's just take a look at it real quick. All good. And now let's just, I guess, whip out John. All right, so let's see. John, let's put in the token file. Uh, we could specify the algorithm, but I didn't. You don't really have to, it's just a little easier on John, I guess. But the biggest thing is the word list. So initially for the word list, I used, I found this article here because I've never, you know, used John for a JWT token. So I found this article here and I guess they do this with Golang. Uh, but I just saw that they were doing the same algorithm that we have, the HS256. So I was like, okay, I'll follow it. But what they did was, I think this is a different article than I had earlier. Yeah, but they had, they used like this word list here. Honestly, I didn't even read it. I kind of just glanced at it, but this didn't end up working for me. There was actually another article. I guess I got rid of it that they generated their own word list, but it was just, they used Python just to generate a list of just numbers from uh, the length of like one to six, which didn't help me. So I thought, okay, I mean, it obviously needs me to use John the Ripper, 
excuse me so might as well just use um the most common word list that is there is which is rocky so i figured i'd try that um come again what if i specify the uh, i forgot to do this is it algorithm I can, let me just take a look over here format I knew it was an algorithm paste that what is going on no oh, pass trash why isn't that working okay that's that's a full token oh, I just left to crack uh, JWT show oh okay cool so why didn't it print that password is key whatever but here we see that the password is I love Pico so I haven't actually tested this but I hope this works um, let me actually do this on the other website so let's go down here put my secret then I believe it's user I just won't paste it user oops user admin let's copy this cross fingers because I did not test this <laughs> Whew, refresh moment of truth oh let's go and there is our flag J JWT J A W T was just what you thought awesome so that was that was pretty cool I did not know you can use John the Ripper for this for JWT but I guess I guess that makes sense I mean you can crack pretty much anything that gets I guess hashed in a way anything that uses algorithm so that was a fun challenge I think there's a no there isn't a second one of this one but yeah now that I'm here this was a quick video kind of just want to put a little I guess announcement that I think I'm gonna start slowing down on Pico and just CTFs on general uh, one because I just have my own like personal project that I'm working on I'm making a website for a friend and yeah as you can see like it's there's there's not much going on here like I you know I love the web exploitation I guess forensics I can start touching up on those a little bit more I did pretty much all the general skills buying your exploitation I mean I could try to learn that but it's not really something I really care about cryptography same thing reverse engineering was kind of cool maybe i'll touch up on this but i don't know um hopefully i can do more hack the box uh, there was the one that retired last week was hard difficulty and the one i posted was easy and that took me pretty much all day and i don't really have that time to kind of just dedicate solving even though i would love to because that's like super fun but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all those good stuff. And um, I guess I'll see you next week. I'll probably do I'll do I'll do at least one video a week. But probably like two tops. And I might start just separating them because I've been doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe Tuesday, Thursday. I don't know, we'll see. But there are gonna be some changes.